Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this sports opener animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can make it without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and you will notice that I have already imported a couple of these images. So these are just some images with these posters torn out. So you can just download them from Unsplash. I'll put a link in the description from where you can just simply download these for free. And if you scroll down, you can see we have a bunch of different examples and you can just download a couple of these and just import them in after effects and you are ready to go also i have imported these images which are just the cutouts of some athletes with transparent background now it's completely up to you, you can use whatever type of images you want and also i have this logo which i'm going to use perfect so first we'll begin by creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 or you can just pick whatever you want frame rate 30 fps and duration i'm going to set this to 10 just click on ok so here we have our composition now i'm going to select one of these images so let's select this one and i'm going to just quickly drag it over here so you can see that it's quite big so i'm going to press s and let's just scale this down something like that now we are going to do the same thing on all of these images like a couple of them and so let me just show you what so Let's select the pen tool and make sure that this layer is selected and after that just draw a very random rough mask you don't have to be precise just do it very roughly like that perfect so here you can see we have this rough mask now i'm going to make this layer 3d now let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center so you can hold on the control key and double click on this pen anchor tool perfect now let's select second image and i'm going to drag it over here Again, it's quite big, so I'm going to press S. Let's scale this down. And this one, we can just place it to this side. Again, just select the pen tool and just randomly draw a rough mask. Make sure that the layer is selected. You don't have to be precise or anything like that. Now, again, let's select this and double click on this. Make sure that it is in the center. Let's turn this to 3D as well. Now, let me just quickly go through and just add a bunch of these different images. So now I'm done with all these images. So I've imported like five of these, but if you want, you can have more. And now once you're done with this, make sure that all of these are 3D and we are ready to just align them in 3D space. So for that, first we need a camera. So I'm going to create a new, go to layer, new, let's add a camera. And I'm using this 35 mm, just click on okay. Now let's create a null object as well. So right click new, or you can just simply go to layer, new, null object. Now I'm going to select this camera and I'm going to pair it to the null. Make sure that the null is 3D as well. Perfect. Now we can move around using this null and let me just quickly switch this view. So instead of one view, I'm going to set this to two view. Now this is going to show us the full view. So I'm going to set this to fit. So this is our viewport and this is the top view from where we can just place these layers wherever we want. So let's select one of these layers and I'm going to just place it like all the way back and we can probably hide all of these layers so that we can see it. And Let's place it like probably somewhere around here. Now press S to scale this up to make it like a little bit big. Just like that. Now let's select one of these images and I'm going to enable this up. And let's move it to far away. And we can probably move it to this side as well. Now again, we can press S to make this like a little bit bigger. And we can just move it like a little bit closer. And this is completely up to you. You can just play around with their position and just place them randomly in the 3D space. Now uh, let's select this and we can probably move this one to this side. And let's just place it like somewhere around here. Again, let's press S to scale this up. Now the basic idea is to like remove all of these black spaces, which we can easily do by simply scaling them. And let's select this one. Let's enable it. And I'm going to place this like somewhere in the front. Something like that. And let's press S to scale this up. You can probably move it like a little bit down below. Or we can probably place it somewhere around here. I think this looks good. Now we have one more and let's select this one. And this we can just place it somewhere over here like that now let me just quickly press s to scale this up like that now let's select this back one and i'm going to just scale this up quite a bit like that so here you can see we have like bunch of these different elements now just move them here and there to like get rid of these black areas 
perfect now we are ready to move our camera so in order to do that we can probably let's switch back to the one view and now we can select the null object let's press p and let's add a keyframe so this is going to be probably our final position so i'm going to move this keyframe somewhere around four seconds now in the beginning i'm going to just zoom in using this slider so you can see that we are moving in and you can see all of these layers are like coming in like that now we can select the keyframes press f9 to ease them Let's go to the graph editor. Now, if your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now I'm going to select these endpoints and I'm going to quickly make the graph to look something like that. Now, if I press play, you can see we have all of these layers in 3D space and these are like moving out. Now, there are a bunch of different things that you can do. So let me just quickly open up these two view. So before we proceed, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. So I think this animation looks good and we can have some movement in these images as well, which we are going to do it later. But first, let me just quickly add all of these images which we want. So let's select this and I'm going to drag it over here. So you can see that it's quite big and we have to probably scale it down. Let's make this 3D as well. And now we can just place it wherever we want. So I'm going to just place it somewhere around here. You can see that it is visible like that. Or maybe we can just make it like a little bit bigger and just place it somewhere around here. Perfect. Now you can see that this is blocking its view, but we can animate it later on to like reveal it something like that. But for this, I can let's probably scale this down something like that. And we can just place it somewhere around here. Or we can just place it like behind this layer as well. Like that. And we can just move it like this. So you can see that we have this image. probably in the front like that there you go now in the same way we can add all of these other images as well so let me just quickly do that so let's select this and this one we can just place it somewhere in the front only so let's just scale this down and i'm going to select this right click let's transform and let's flip this horizontally make sure that this is 3d as well let's switch to one view and i'm going to just place it like in the front only like this so you can see that we have this perfect or we can probably move it like a little bit more front like that then you have to play around with the scale and position let's scale this down and let's move it in like that there you go now we have this very nice parallax as well now let's select the other image and let me just quickly add it over here let's press s make it 3d as well let's scale this down and I'm going to just place it somewhere around here only. Let's switch this to the two view and let's place it somewhere around here or maybe like this place. I think this looks good. We can probably scale this up. So here you can see we have this and we are moving through these images like that. Perfect. Now let's add one more image. Just play around with this position now we have added this image as well now our last step is to like have a little bit of animation in these like papers as well so for that we can do one more thing so for example we have this cutout over here we can press p let's add a keyframe for position and let's animate it from here and somewhere around here we can just move it to this side so that our this character is visible and i think it's too small so we can just scale this up and let's place it to this side perfect so we have this as well and we can press p as well let's add a keyframe let's move it to this side and in the beginning we can just move it down something like that and we can probably move this like a little bit up to this side like that and again we can just play around with this this as well and i can probably move it like more to this side perfect so we have this and if i press play you can see we have these paper cuttings moving out 
Let me quickly select them, press F9. Let's change the curve to look something like that. Now if I press play, you can see we have these cutouts moving out. Perfect. So in the same way, you can add like motion to all of these paper cutouts. So now if I press play, you can see we have all of these subtle movement in the paper and these characters as well. And yeah, I think this looks perfect. So once you're done with this, we, there are a couple of things that you can do. Now you will notice that this is like very cluttered and we basically want to focus on these athletes and it is actually quite easy. All we have to do is just dim down these elements which we have in the background or we can have a little bit of drop shadow to this. So let's search for drop shadow first and let's drag it onto one of these images. So I'm going to drag it over here. Now we can probably zoom in. Now if I increase the distance and let's change the angle to something like that and increase the softness, you can see we have this really nice drop shadow over here like that. Now it's completely up to you can play around with the distance and everything till you find something that looks good. And we can probably make this like that. Yeah, I think this looks good. Now we can copy this and just paste it onto all of these other layers. There you go. Now we have added some drop shadow to these. And in the same way, we can have the drop shadow to these athletes as well. Let me just quickly paste it. And here you can see we have this really nice drop shadow. Just play around with these settings till you find something that looks good. So I think this one is good. Let me just copy this and just paste it onto all of these. There you go. Now we have some really nice drop shadow all of all around here. Now in order to separate these more from the background, we can probably dim down these. So for that, we can search for the exposure. And let's drag it over here. And I'm going to just change the value to something like negative one. And let's copy it and just paste it onto the other layers as well. So now you can see that now all of these layers are like dimmed down and these are probably highlighted more. So now if I press play, you can see we have all of these athletes like highlighted and all of the rest of the area is like dimmed down. And in this way, you can like keep on adding these athletes and you can keep on adding these paper cutouts and you can have a really nice motion. But once you're done with this, we can add our logo at the end. So let's drag it over here and it's quite big. So I'm going to just scale this down. Let's enable the 3D and we can probably scale this down like that and we can make it like really close to the camera. So for that we can press P for position and let's just place around, place it like really close to the camera. Let's play with the size as well. Perfect. Now we don't want this to be like visible throughout so we can have a position keyframe. So let's add a keyframe over here and in the beginning we can probably like move it out of the frame like that there you go now we can select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them let's go to the graph and i'm gonna make the graph to look something like that as well so let's just play around with its position so now if I press play, you can see we have everything coming in and at last we have our logo. Perfect. Now there is one last thing that you can do. Once the logo is coming, we can like dim down everything. So for that, we can create a black solid. Let's just click on OK and let's just place it over here. And all we have to do is just add a opacity animation. So let's start from zero and somewhere around here, we can just probably dim it down to whatever value you want. So let's just keep it to something like that so that the logo is highlighted. So now if I press play, you can see we have everything coming in and at last we have our logo reveal. So this is how you can create these kind of sports opener and you can keep on adding these images and you can see that how professional it looks. So this is how you can create this and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.